make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his court with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Opening hymn, hymn number seven. Listen from the word of God. The first and second lessons will be read. The first lesson is taken from Hosea chapter 14, verses 1 to 9. Hosea chapter 14, verses 1 to 9. 
Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all our sins and receive us graciously, that we may offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria cannot save us. We will, ma- we will not mount war horses. We will never again say our gods to what our own hands have made. <clears throat> For in you the fatherless <clears throat> find compassion. I will heal their waywardness <clears throat> and love them freely. For my anger has turned away from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. He will blossom like a lily. Like a cedar of Lebanon, he will send down his roots. His young shoots will grow. His splendor will be like an olive tree. His fragrance like a cedar of Lebanon. Men will dwell again in his shade. He will flourish like the grain. He will blossom like a vine. (coughs) And his fame will be like the wine from Lebanon. O Ephraim, what more have I to do with idols? I will answer him and care for him. I am like a green pine tree. Your faithfulness comes from me. Who is wise? He will realize these things. Who is discerning? He will understand them. The ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but the rebellious stumble in them. This ends the first lesson. The second lesson is taken from Hebrews chapter 6, verse 9 to 12. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 9 to 12. My friends, we are talking this way, but we are sure that you are doing these really good things that people do when they are being saved. God is always fair, and he will remember how you helped his people in the past and how you still help them. You belong to God, and he wouldn't forget the love you have shown his people. We wish that each of you would always be eager to show show how strong and lasting your hope really is. Then you would never be lazy, and you would be following the example of those who had faith and were patient until God has kept his promise to them. Here ends the second lesson. In your light we see the light Jesus, full of light. Is your light the shine support our world? Light 
altar ma me yo la trivi the se ye nar ha asvi humbly pray in spirit and truth by John how mercy on us no. we magnify you o lord our king the only begotten son word of the father lord jesus christ immortal in your nature who was born of the virgin mary for the life and salvation of all human kind without change of nature you became the son of man and were crucified for us the trampling death under foot and destroy me forever you are one of the holy trinity and our worship to glorify equally with your father and your living and holy spirit have mercy on us holy are the god holy are the almighty lord holy are the immortal lord the world god holy are the almighty lord holy are the immortal lord oh thou that was crucified for us have mercy on us holy are the world god holy are the almighty lord holy are the immortal lord oh thou that was crucified for us have mercy on us mercy lord have 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 mercy with the essence of your holy gospel the teachings of the apostles the richness of your divine wisdom and the gift of your holy spirit enable us to gladly obey your commands and to perfectly fulfill your holy will amen from the epistle of paul to the galatians chapter 6 verses 1 through 5 Praise to you, O Lord of the Apostles. Lord, grant us grace to discern your word. My friends, if anyone is detected in a transgression, you who have received the Spirit should restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Take care that you yourselves are not tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. For if those who are nothing think they are something, they deceive themselves. All must test their own work. then that work rather than their neighbor's work will become a cause for pride for all must carry their own loads hallelujah hallelujah offer sacrifices of praise to the lord 
Come and worship in his holy courts. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, let us stand in silence, all in reverence, and listen to the proclamation of the living word of God in the gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord. Peace be with you all. May the Lord make us all worthy to listen to his word. Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which proclaims life and salvation to the world, as recorded by Apostle John. Blessed is he who has come and will come again. Praise to the Father who sent him for our salvation. May his blessings be ever upon us. In the days of Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior, the word of life, God incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary, it happened in this way. So we believe and affirm. After this, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the shore, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, do you have any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in because of the quantity of fish. That disciples whom Jesus loved therefore said to Peter, it is Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garment, for he was stripped for work. He threw himself into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire in place with fish laid out on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And although they were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to him, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. Peace be with you all. And also with you, we thank you, Lord, that you have given us your gospel, which is the light of the world, to draw us closer to you, enable us by your grace to praise you through the living words of your gospel. Let's pray to the Lord for his blessings and mercy. O Lord, who is the source of all blessings, Help us and bless us. O Lord, help us continually to offer praise and thanksgiving to you, to him who absolves us from our debts and pardons our sin, to him who receives the penitent and rejoices in the return of sinners, to him who has promised call and I will answer, no can I will open and stretch forth my hand to pardon your sins and iniquities. To him belong glory and honor and worship at this time and all the days of our life. Amen. Amen.
mighty and glorious lord save us from the vile of the evil one lord in your grace and mercy you took flesh of blessed virgin mary and become human lord of lords do not banish us from your presence and from the company of the angels who continually praise your holy name and pardon ella and proclaim aloud that the lord god is holy show us the way of life and salvation so that we may persevere to attain your glorious kingdom lord jesus look upon us with the eye of mercy save us from our enemies and all that would hurt us protect us in the shadow of your cross lord jesus save us from all deceit and greed save us from all evil thoughts defilement and blasphemy lord jesus make us to rejoice with all the children of your kingdom to you and to the father and to the holy spirit we ask a ball praise and thanksgiving now and forever amen oh lord god who makes the sinner righteous pardon our sins and make us holy bolt out all my sin through your loving mercy good lord wipe away the sins of all believers o oh lord god in your mercy and goodness remember us our parents brothers and sisters our bishops clergy teachers of the faith and all faithful children of your holy and glorious church lord god comfort us in body mind and spirit shower your mercy upon us be the remission of our sins make us all worthy of the good end that is set for all children of peace to you we offer praise and thanksgiving forever and ever amen we can sinful as we are let us confess and together say holy is the holy father amen holy is the holy son amen holy is the living and holy spirit amen we believe in the one true god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible we believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god begotten of the father before all worlds light of light very god of very god begotten not made being of one substance with the father by whom all things were made who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the holy spirit of the virgin mary and was made man he was crucified for us the days of pontius pilate suffered died and was buried the third day he rose again by his own will ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the father He will come again in glory to judge both the living and the dead and of his kingdom there will be no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and the apostles. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead. and the new life of the world to come amen please be seated those who are celebrating their birthday and the wedding anniversary please come forward for thanksgiving
gracious Father, we thank you and praise you for all the blessings you have showered upon us. You are the giver and sustainer of our life. This life is your blessing and your gift. Lord, thank you for leading us throughout our life. Lord, we especially pray for those who have come forward to thank you. Lord, thank you so much for being with them. You guided them. Lord, we pray that be with them and bless them in the days to come. Your presence be with them. In Jesus' name we pray. special prayer concern or have thanksgiving please come forward Lord thank you for being our help and refuge. Lord, we know you are gracious. We are experiencing your gracious presence and love each and every moment in our life. Lord, we especially pray for the one who came forward to thank you. Lord, we especially pray for her, be with her. Lord, you fill her with your presence. Whatever are the prayer, Lord, you know that. You know our needs. You are always with us. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. You're my sacrifice of greatest price. Still more awesome than I know. sing hymn number 196 for offer tree. Come as flesh, and these are 
heavenly father we thank you and praise you we worship you lord you are everything in our life lord whenever we are in need you are always with us you are standing with us you are strengthening us lord you know our needs our physical needs our spiritual needs lord thank you so much for providing everything in our in time lord we especially pray for this offertory we pray for those who have taken part in this. Lord, bless each and every one. You use it for the glory of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, it is a friendly reminder that yet I could not complete my house visit. Once again, I request you, please find a time and inform me. I will be very happy to visit your house. At least once in a year, Achen should visit a house. I mean, at least, okay. So please help me to complete that. Today, our gospel portion is the gospel of John chapter 21, verses 1 through 14. John 21, verses 1 through 14. The theme for our meditation or the, the center of today's meditation is Jesus Christ who restores. Jesus Christ who restores yada sthana padutuna kartava paraje pettavane parithirikkade punaruddharikkuna kartava ennulladana here we have a story of resurrected jesus restoring his disciples from failure from the utter failure the disciples were fishing on lake galilee it is mentioned here tiberias both are same the disciples had given up their hope completely and gone back to their previous life. Lake Galilee was 80 miles from Jerusalem. Jerusalem where Jesus appeared to the disciples. They have traveled about 80 kilometers they left Jerusalem and reached Galilee it was not a short distance those days that means they are away from the center of faith they are away from the fellowship here also we see only seven disciples together here that is what's written here, no? The names are also written there. I think why they are only seven here? This group is broken up. They cannot be together in this situation of crisis. 
when jesus appeared to his disciple he is appearing to broken and vulnerable men who had a sense of hope for the future they had no sense of hope for the future disciples they desperately in need of a fresh start with god desperately in need of finding value and worth and a sense of identity here jesus want to make them crystal clear that they are still loved and they are valuable in the ministry of kingdom of god that is why jesus is following these disciples now the disciples were called to follow jesus but now the things are opposite jesus is following these disciples to restore them here we can see a series of backsliding in their life first of all they left jerusalem which is the center of faith and also they left the unity of tall disciples and all of sudden peter took a decision and he declared it very easily he said i am going fishing what happened the next simply all other disciples joined with them joined with him they said yeah we are also joining with you it is very easy see when we take a good decision in our life even taking a good decision itself is very hard isn't it it is very hard and somehow if you take a good decision in your life it is very difficult to get support from others people will not understand it people will criticize you people think you are a fool what you are doing it is unnecessary it is right in our personal life and also in a committee in a general body in a society everything it happens but when peter said i am going for fishing everyone joined with us with him see all of us are given influences in the place where we are we all are responsible people in our family in our church wherever we are we have some influence so we should be very careful when we take a decision in our life our words and deeds influence people i think as a faith community our decisions our actions our words are very important we influence people our new generation is watching us what you do in moderation they will do in excess our action speaks louder than what we do we are totally wrong if we think that going back to our old ways will satisfy us and we are in danger of leading others astray too here we see the disciples backsliding from their call and commission there is nothing wrong in going for fishing doing a job working is not wrong here the problem is the question is why peter cannot fish for men actually that was his call no when jesus called them he said i will make you fishers of men you have to catch people for the kingdom of god when they heard that calling when they got that commission they left their boat and net and followed jesus now in this critical situation they are unable to do that they want to go back to their old life when we go back to our old life it is fruitless and empty the lord redirects our activities to fruitful efforts that have eternal value in verse 4 it is read like this early in the morning jesus stood on the shore but the disciples did not realize that it was jesus jesus was standing very near to them it is written there it was hardly 100 yards to shore it is not a long distance we can see who is standing there but 
they could not realize that it is Jesus. Often when we are walking in guilt, regret and shame, we lose right sight. We lose sight of Jesus and the calling of Jesus. But Jesus is so faithful to seek us and reveal himself to us in very intimate ways. What we need is to be reminded of his presence, power and purpose. These three things are very important in our life. We should be reminded of his presence, his power and purpose. That is what Jesus does here. He revealed himself. He demonstrated his power and reminds Peter of his purpose. Feed my sheep and take care of my lambs. In verse 5, Jesus said to them, Children, in some version it is written, it is written the word used there is boys. My dear boys. It means it is very, very close relationship. Do you have any fish? They answered him, no. I think Jesus already knew that there is no fish. They could not catch any fish that night. But Jesus asking it. Generally we ask such questions. Yeah, what is the purpose? We know. No need to explain. But the reason Jesus asking this question is, Jesus want to make it very clear that you are in a failed situation. Sometimes it is very, very much needed to realize ourselves that we are in a failed situation. We are empty. Which we come to the end of the resources, we realize the presence of God. Sometimes it is needed. When we are in the end of our resources, we consider many things as our resource. I have this, I have that, so I am very safe. We think like that. But when we are in the presence of God, if you want to realize God's presence as he is, we have to realize that we are empty. In our liturgy also we have so many prayers like that. In the worship service our attitude should be like that. Lord we are empty. We have nothing to claim before you. We are empty. That is very important. The world is seeking for successful people. Yeah, especially these days where we are living Everyone needs successful people. But I think Jesus is the only one go after failed people because he is the only one who can love and value you. He wants to restore us. They had a miraculous catch of fish. The catch was so large. It is mentioned there the total number of fish they got it was 153 that means it was very valuable it was very large catch in spite of the pressure on the net it didn't tear that is what mentioned in the bible though there was a big huge catch 156 huge fishes but it is mentioned there the net didn't tear that means when Jesus, when God bless you and me, this blessing belongs to God. He is able, he is enough to take care of the blessings. I am sure we all are blessed with so many things. We have wonderful family, we have parents, we have children, we have good job, we have good payment, so many things we have. Moreover, all these things, we have a living God. We are saved people. We are so lucky to have a Jesus like this. So, dearly beloved in Christ, always we have to thank God for what we have. Not to, no need to be in tension. Whatever you have, our God is sufficient and enough to take care of that. Your family, your children, your health, your wealth, whatever you have, God will take care of that. Here I was thinking, why Jesus 
didn't say to the fishes that you all of you come and jump to the boat then the disciples job will be very easy no Jesus didn't do that he just tested their obedience success comes to us when we are willing to listen obedience is a form of humility humility is the willing spirit to obey Jesus wants us to have humility which is probably the most important virtue one can have in life in today's message at least three things we have to remember about success and failure i think that is the very center of today's message first of all failure is not a reason to quit <coughs> failure is not a reason to quit sometimes failure is a necessary it's a part of our journey in order to discover something greater the failure of the disciples led them to their state of humility and ultimately to recognize jesus so failure is not a reason to quit second thing it is learn to obey that's very important in our life nowadays we are getting more arrogant we don't want to obey anybody it is very sometimes it is very hard to listen others but we have to remember that obedience is very important success comes to us when we are willing to listen to others obedience is a form of humility humility is the willing spirit to obey there are people sent by god to instruct us to advise us see here one thing is very important when they obeyed jesus jesus said net here you put your net here they did it they obeyed it but it is mentioned there clearly they didn't know that it is jesus that is what written here no they didn't know it is jesus they obeyed a stranger is it good to obey all the strangers i don't think so we should have the discerning spirit to know whether it is from god or satan that spirit should be there but we have to understand that there are people to advise us so it is very important to obey third thing success belongs to god success belongs to god when we talk about success always we think about determination planning team work hard work all these words are very familiar with at least for youngsters no those who learn management these words are very very common but you think when this disciples went for fishing all these things were there determination was there team work hard work planning everything was there but what was the result failure what was the result failure that was the result but along with all these things when jesus joined with them when they obeyed jesus the situation changed they got success and blessings in their life another thing we have to understand from this 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 portion is when they got this big catch they realize that this is lord jesus it is written here two times after that when they came to the shore when they got bread and fish which was prepared for them when they got it there also they realized that this is jesus see in the midst of success blessing what we understand what is our realization in such situations generally we do we think that my success the reason is yeah my planning my efficiency my skill everything you know 
I'm a great thing. Oh, I am such a great man. Nobody else in this world. But we have to remember that. See, in your success, in your blessings, you have to realize the presence of Jesus. That is what a believer should do. See, whatever blessings we have, we have to realize the presence of Jesus in our blessings. Generally, people do. People search God when we are in trouble. We are in sorrow. Yeah, we should do that. No doubt in that. But in your blessings also, in your joy, in your celebrations, Jesus, you have to realize the presence of Jesus there. And finally, the restoring love we can see there. In verse 9, we see, when they arrived on the shore, Jesus had already prepared a meal for them. When we think about that situation, actually, these disciples failed Jesus. Disciples are already failed. They failed Jesus also. See, you think about the last three and a half years, their life, the training, the miracles they saw, the, the preachings, the study classes they got, whatever kingdom values Jesus tried to introduce to them, everything gone vain. They rejected Jesus. They ignored their calling and they ignored their great commission also. Now they are utterly failed. Imagine this situation. They are utterly failed. If we get, a, get someone like this, we will make use of that situation. And our words, how we deal with them, we think, I am a successful person. But the one who is failed, how we deal with such people, you see how Jesus handled the failed disciples, his approach, the way he treated them. We have to learn model, role model from this. Here I request all of you, please go ahead. You please imagine or visualize the picture in your mind. See, early in the morning, someone preparing food for us, waiting for us, lovingly inviting us. He inviting us, dear children, dear boys, Come on, have it. Who do like this? Here we can see the picture of a mother. No, picture of a mother. See, our Jesus, his motherly love, care, encouragement, we won't get it anywhere else. We think they will encourage us, they will stand with me. But in your failures, in your utter failures, Jesus is the only one who can stand with you and me. And he is the only one who can transform our life. A new beginning, successful life, dearly beloved in Christ. Where are you and me now? You may be in guilt, failure or regret. Are you not working out his call or his mission? Do you find yourself turning back to your old ways? What we should do today is turn to Jesus by obeying his word, trust his plan and pattern for your life. Enter into the shore of love and grace. Dive into an intimate relationship with Jesus. He will restore you. He will bring something new in your life and you will be successful and blessed. Now I request Anthony Matai to lead us in prayer. Oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you for um, allowing Achin to um, speak your word through you, through him, Lord. Lord, thank you for allowing him to communicate 
message to us that you have the final say in our successes and failures and that our failure still has meaning if it is in you, Lord, and our success is only a product of you. Lord, help us to realize this in our lives, Lord, and um, exercise the virtues that the disciples did, that even though they were in their failures, they had the humility to accept you, to acknowledge your presence in their lives, and to, and to obey you, Lord. Lord, please be with every single one of us and help us to always exercise these same virtues that the disciples did in their lives, Lord. Lord, as always, we pray for all who are sick and suffering. Lord, those who can't make it to church, please be with them and strengthen them. We pray for um, Achin and his family, and we pray for congregation, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Those who have come prepared to take part in Holy Communion, please raise up for the prayer of confession. ശക്തിയുള്ള ബാബ തമ്പുരാനെ നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായും ലോകത്തെ രക്ഷിപ്പാനായി തൻ്റെ കൃപയാൽ വിശുദ്ധ കന്യകമറിയാമിൽ നിന്ന് ജനിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി കഷ്ടത അനുഭവിച്ച് മരിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് രക്ഷ നൽകിയ മസ്യുക തമ്പുരാനെ നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായും സകലത്തെയും ജീവിപ്പിക്കുന്നവനും ആശ്വസിപ്പിച്ച് ശുദ്ധീകരിക്കുന്നവനുമായ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവാം തമ്പുരാനെ നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായും ഞാൻ ചെയ്തു പോയ സകേല പാപങ്ങളെയും ഏറ്റുപറഞ്ഞ് സങ്കടപ്പെടുന്നു മനുഷ്യരുടെ അന്യായങ്ങളെ ക്ഷമിക്കുന്നവനും പാവിയുടെ മരണത്തിൽ ഇഷ്ടമില്ലാത്തവനുമായ സർവശക്തിയുള്ള ദൈവമായ കർത്താവേ എൻ്റെ ഹൃദയ കൈകളെ നിങ്കിലേക്ക് നീട്ടി എൻ്റെ സകേല ലംഘനങ്ങളുടെയും മോചനം നിന്നോട് യാചിച്ചു കൊള്ളുന്നു ഞാൻ മുഴുവനും നിങ്കലായിരിപ്പാനും നിൻ്റെ ദിവ്യരഹസ്യങ്ങളുടെ ദാനം നിന്നിൽ നിന്ന് ലഭിപ്പാനുമായി ഞാൻ അയോഗ്യനെങ്കിലും എതിരാളികളുടെ സകല വ്യാപാരങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും എൻ്റെ ബോധത്തെയും ദുർമുഖത്തോടെ നോക്കാതിരിപ്പാൻ എൻ്റെ കണ്ണുകളെയും വ്യർത്ഥ കാര്യങ്ങളെ കേൾക്കാതിരിപ്പാൻ എൻ്റെ ചെവികളെയും വെറുക്കത്തക്ക പ്രവർത്തികളിൽ നിന്ന് എൻ്റെ കൈകളെയും നിന്നാൽ പ്രയോഗിക്കപ്പെടത്തക്ക വണ്ണം എൻ്റെ അന്തരംഗങ്ങളെയും കാത്തുകൊള്ളണമെന്ന് നിന്നോട് ഞാൻ അപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നു അമ്മീൻ ഐ കൺഫസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹാവ് സിൻഡ് അഗേൻസ്റ്റ് യു ഓ ഫാദർ സൺ ആൻഡ് ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് in thought word and deed i am sorry with all my heart for these my sins i believe in your promise that you will receive all those who truly repent o lord who is merciful and full of grace accept me even as you accepted the publican 
the woman who was a sinner and the thief on the cross. Comfort me with the consolation of your word. O Lord, grant that your holy body and holy blood in which I now partake may redeem me from judgment and condemnation and bring me to life and wholeness. Amen. May God Almighty be compassionate to all of you who have truly confessed your sins. God has freely forgiven your sins to make you worthy to partake in this Holy Communion. Dearly beloved, pray with me that this service may be acceptable to the Lord. Lord, we humbly knock at your door. We have come to your house and we pray for your blessing. Sanctify your servants by your truth. O oh Lord, hear and answer the prayers of your people. You have promised that where two or three are gathered in your name, you will be in our midst. We pray that you send us the gift of your Holy Spirit to make his dwelling in us, your people, as he dwelt in the apostles. O oh God and Lord of all, make us worthy to greet one another with the kiss of peace, free from all insensitivity and united in love. To you, O oh Father, to your Holy Son, and to your Holy Spirit, we give your praise and glory now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you all. And also with you. In the love of our Lord God, let us greet one another in peace. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ Abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. Brothers and sisters, having received this holy and divine peace, let us bow before our heads before the merciful Lord. Gracious Lord, we bow before you. Merciful Father, you dwell on high. Yet consent to look upon things that are lowly. Bless now those who have bowed their hearts in your presence with the grace of your only Son, with whom and with the Holy Spirit you accept all praise and glory now and forever. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us participate in this holy kurbana, which is now offered to us with commitment, reverence, humility, purity of heart, love, true faith, and devotion. To God the Father, to whom all things belong, is offered the sacrifice of grace, peace, and praise in a spirit of unity and concord. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. And also with you. 
May our hearts be with Christ on high. Our hearts truly are with the Lord. To sing praises and worship the Creator of all things. Assuredly is good and right. Who is adored by the heavenly host, sun and moon, and all the stars, the earth and seas, and all that dwell there, angels and archangels, thrones and powers, cherubim and seraphim ever proclaiming. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty, heaven, heaven and earth, and earth are, full are full of his glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who has come and is to come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When the sinless one of his own will chose to suffer death for us sinners, he took bread in his holy hand. Bless the Lord. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it, and gave it to his apostles, saying, Take it. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. The same manner he took the cup. Bless the Lord. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and gave it to his apostles, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Thus, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he come. O oh Lord, we remember your death. We celebrate your resurrection, and we await your second coming. May your blessing rest upon us all. O oh Lord, as we remember your death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and look forward to your second coming to judge the world in righteousness and truth, we offer this service and sacrifice entreating you not to deal with us according to our sins but according to your own abundant mercy, and saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord our God. We give thanks to you, we praise you, we glorify you, and we worship you. O source of all goodness, have mercy on us and bless us. Answer unto us, O Lord, answer unto us, O Lord, answer unto us, O Lord, by your grace, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, have, Lord, have mercy. May the Holy Spirit sanctify this bread that it may be the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Holy Spirit sanctify the wine in this chalice that it may be the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, sanctify the bodies and souls of those who receive these gifts, that they may bear fruit for the stability of your holy church. Establish ever firmly your holy church, founded on the rock of faith, against which the great gates of hell shall not prevail, and preserve her to the end from strife and error. To you, with the Son and the Holy Spirit, we offer praise and thanksgiving, both now and forever. Amen. Look with mercy, O Lord, on your holy church throughout the world, 
on all the bishops who bear the burden of leading and guiding her, especially our Father in God, Theodosius Martha Metropolitan, the moderator of the Church of North India and the Church of South India, Archbishop of the Anglican Communion, our bishops, Eukaim Markrolos and Joseph Mar Barnabas as our suffragan metropolitans, Thomas Mar Timotheos, Isaac Mar Felixenos, Abraham Mar Polos, Matthews Mar Macarios, Gregorios Mar Stephanos, Thomas Mar Titos, Zacharias Mar Aprem, Joseph Mar Avanios, Matthews Mar Seraphim, priests, deacons, evangelists, faithful members of the church and seekers of the faith. Lord, we remember all those who exercise authority in various countries, especially in this country. Give to each one your Holy Spirit that they may diligently work in your vineyard. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we remember the mother of our Lord, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the holy apostles, the prophets, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the saints. Lord, we remember the three councils of Nicaea, Constantinople, and Ephesus, and all the holy fathers who participated in them. Make us worthy to follow in their footsteps. Lord, we also remember all the faithful who are departed and fallen asleep in the true faith. Grant that we also may be with them, be counted worthy of the remission of sins, and be gathered into your heavenly kingdom. Lord, have mercy. O oh Lord, we thank you for the beautiful universe you have created and the life and possibilities of it. Forgive us, O oh Lord, for we have distorted the universe for our greed and selfishness. Help us, O oh Lord, to be good and faithful stewards for the fulfillment of your will. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, have, Lord, have mercy. The blessings of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all now and forever and with you also brothers and sisters we must pray to the lord always for reconciliation and peace and for his blessings and mercy lord in your mercy hear our prayers Let us pray to the Lord for unity in the church and harmony between all people and communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray for peace in our families and grace in our hearts that we may be strengthened in faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray for the recovery of health for the sick and comfort for the distressed, deliverance for prisoners, safety for travelers, and unity and love for those who are estranged. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us give glory to God the Father, Lord of all, worship his one, only begotten Son, and praise his holy and life-giving Spirit. O oh Lord of all blessings, we commit our lives into your keeping and pray for your blessings. Gracious God, have mercy on us and bless us. Let's spend some time in intercessory prayer. Let us bring all our prayer concerns to our Heavenly Father. Especially we thank God for, this, for giving us this wonderful time of worship. Let's praise God. Let's adore God. Our Jesus is a living God. He has victory over death. Our Lord is risen Lord. Whenever we are sad, we are failed, Jesus appears to us. His everlasting presence is with us. Let's pray to Lord. Lord, help us to realize your presence among us. Your presence in my life. Lord, I know whenever I am failed, I am scared. You come to me. You strengthen me. You transform my life. Thank you so much. Lord, help us to realize you whenever I am in struggles and also when I enjoy your blessings. 
help us to realize your presence lord strengthen us you are the only one start a new hope in our life a new beginning thank you lord help us to follow you let's pray for the world peace let us remember the countries where the difficult situation is prevailed let us for pray for them and especially pray for a huge number of people disabled vulnerable women children they left everything and going to save their life this very difficult situation let us remember such communities around us let's pray for our church and especially pray for our american diocese also pray for the bishop who is in charge of this diocese let's pray for our parish remember all our families especially pre- we pray for those who are in old age not able to come to the church but many are participating in this service online let us rem- remember all of them and also we remember our youngsters and children lord be with them you guide them lord fill them with your presence help them to learn trust in you live a life with you let us specially pray for those who are sick among us once again we remember and pray for our dear babu vargi sangal mary kutty john andy and uh, eliama philipandi and also we pray for the family members those who are sacrificially doing all the service let's pray to lord lord you strengthen the end their family so that they can experience your healing let's remember those who have requested special prayer concerns though we are not sharing all the prayer concerns here but our lord knows let's pray for them especially we pray for those who some of our youngsters they are facing some difficulties in their job some of them need new job let's pray lord you know their needs you are a god able to open new doors when we think everything is finished you have another door to open for us it is the door of blessings lord help them help them to experience your presence there you bless them and we pray for all our families those who are facing difficulties in family life and also we pray for those who are away from us in india or in kerala there are so many people those who request us prayer concerns let's pray pray for all of them let's pray for our personal needs as we are participating in this service we are in the presence of god this is a time we get to share pour our thoughts our heart to god let us talk to god share 
our heart. <coughs> he is always ready to hear from us, to know our concerns. He loves us. He is our God. So, let us pray for all our personal needs, whatever struggles we are going through. Let us conclude all our prayers in Lord's Prayer. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, make perfect the offerings and oblations presented before you. Sanctify our body, soul, and spirit, so that with pure and confident heart we may address you as God and Father and pray. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the time of trial, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. the grace, mercy, and blessings of the holy and glorious trinity, uncreated, self-existent, eternal, adorable, and one in essence, be with you all, dearly beloved, forever. And also with you, O holy and glorious trinity, have mercy upon us. Holy things for holy people. Holy is the one Father, holy is the one Son, holy is the one Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. One from the beginning, forever and ever. Amen. The one holy Father who created the world in his mercy is with us. Amen. The one holy Son who saved it by his precious passion is with us. Amen. The one living Holy Spirit who make perfect and fulfill all that is and that has been is with us. May the name of the Lord be blessed as in the beginning, both now and forever. Amen. Now as we come to your table, we recall those gone before us. Grant their lives be an example. Bless us, O Lord. 
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. O Lord, at your command, death held its sway. You abolished death through your resurrection from the dead. Therefore, we praise you and exalt you. O Lord, every mouth shall sing your praise. O Lord, who gathers up the children of Adam from everywhere, bless us and help us. O Son of God, your death has changed our death into life. Raise us from the dust so that we may ever praise you. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is worthy of glory and worship forever. From the beginning and from generation to generation, may he be praised. Hallelujah. O Son of God, who came for our salvation and will come again for our resurrection and for the renewal of our race, grant. We pray forgiveness of sins to your servants through your own atoning sacrifice. Amen. O oh Lord God, graciously bless these your children who partake of your most gracious body and blood which was given on Calvary for the forgiveness of sins that they may abide in your presence forever. Amen. The blessings of Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, be on those who bear these sacred mysteries, on those who dispense them, on those who receive them, and on all who have participated and who shall participate in them. The grace of God be on all of both now and forever. Lord, have mercy and bless us. Glory and praise be to you, our Lord, and our everlasting refuge. The holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, broken and shed on Calvary for the forgiveness of sins, are given to you for the health of your body and soul. Amen. Wash away my 
Sing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. Oh.
victorious, thy great name we praise. Unresting, unhasting, and silent as light, nor wanting, nor wasting, thou rulest in might. Thy justice like mountains are soaring above. Thy clouds which are fountains of goodness and Let us thank God. Praise be to you, O Lord, our God forever. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. May the holy body and blood which we have partaken be not for our condemnation, but for life and salvation to us all. O God, grant us your blessing. to the dead, and you are the hope of all who lie in the grave. We praise you, O Lord, and give you thanks for your mercy towards us. We praise you, O Lord, because in your abundant mercy you have offered and strengthened us with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have thereby made us one with him and with all the members of his mystical body, we pray you to give us grace to continue in that holy fellowship and ever to offer glory and praise to you and to your holy begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Bless us, O Lord Almighty. God the Creator, show to us over the way of salvation. Our God, helper of all. Bless us, O Lord Almighty. You are our of us, your people, and pardon our offenses. Enable us to receive your gifts and blessings, and send us with your peace. My beloved brothers and sisters, I commend you to the grace and blessings of the holy and glorious Trinity. Depart in peace and serve the Lord with the gift and blessings that you have received from the Atoning sacrifice of the Lord. Amen. You both near and far, who are saved by the victorious cross of the Lord and sealed with the seal of holy baptism, this holy trinity will forgive you your sins and comfort your soul. Amen. Pray for me, my brothers and sisters, weak and sinful as I am, that I may obtain mercy and help, depart in peace, filled with gladness and rejoicing. May the Lord accept your ministration and help us by your prayers. Amen. Please be seated. Now the announcements will be made.
അനൗൺസ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് സൺഡേ ഹോളി കമ്മ്യൂണിയൻ സർവീസ് ഇൻ മലയാളം അറ്റ് ടെൻ തേർട്ടി എ എം സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ അറ്റ് നയൻ എ എം സേവ്യ സംഘം ബൈബിൾ സ്റ്റഡി ഓൺ ട്യൂസ്ഡേ ഏപ്രിൽ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻത്ത് അറ്റ് ടെൻ എ എം അറൗ പാഴ്സനേജ് ഫാസ്റ്റിംഗ് പ്രേയർ ഓൺ ഫ്രൈഡേ ഏപ്രിൽ നയൻറ്റീൻത്ത് അറ്റ് ടെൻ എ എം അറൗ പാഴ്സനേജ് A general body meeting of the Staten Island Martha Machat Youth Fellowship is scheduled to be held on April 21, 2024, immediately after the Holy Communion service to transact the following agenda. Accounts for the year 2023, annual report for the year 2023, budget for the year 2024, and any other matters with the permission of the Chair. All members are requested to attend. Ria Abraham, Secretary. Senior Fellowship General Body Announcement. A general body meeting of the Martha Machat Staten Island Senior Fellowship is scheduled for April 24th, Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. at our church to transact the following agenda. Planning for the year 2024 and any other matters with the permission of the Chair, Secretary Dr. Thomas K. Jones. Martha Mawalan Evangelist Association, Dice of North America and Europe, Northeast Region and Northeast Region Center A. Vashti General Body, Patakarde Athra Epasamayal Nau. സന്നദ്ധ സുശേഷ സംഘം നോർത്ത് ഈസ്റ്റ് റീജ്യൻ ആൻഡ് നോർത്ത് ഈസ്റ്റ് റീജ്യൻ സെൻറ്ററെ രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തി മൂന്നിലെ വാർഷിക പ്രതിനിധി സമ്മേളനവും സ്ഥലം മാറി പോകുന്ന പട്ടക്കാരുടെ യാത്രയിപ്പ് സമ്മേളനവും രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിനാല് ഏപ്രിൽ ഇരുപത് ശനിയാഴ്ച രാവിലെ പത്ത് മണി മുതൽ ഉച്ചയ്ക്ക് ഒരു മണി വരെ ലോങ് ഐലൻഡ് ശാലയെ മർത്തവ പള്ളിയിൽ വെച്ച് നടത്തുന്നതാണ് റബ്ബർ അഞ്ച് എസ് എം ജോർജ് മുഖ്യപ്രഭാഷണം നിർവഹിക്കുകയും എവിടെയും പ്രാർത്ഥനാപൂർവ്വമായ സാന്നിധ്യ സഹകരണങ്ങൾ ക്ഷണിച്ചു കൊള്ളുന്നു അജണ്ട ആനുവൽ റിപ്പോർട്ട് ഫോർ ദി ഇയർ ടൂ തൗസൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ ഓഡിറ്റഡ് ഇൻകം ആൻഡ് എക്സ്പെൻഡിച്ചർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ദി ഇയർ ടൂ തൗസൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ budget for the year 2024 and any other matters with the permission of the chair registration fee is dollar 15 dollar per person in christ service reverend ts jos president for the northeast region and reverend mc vargis president for center a and abraham daniel secretary for more information please contact mani vargis martha mawalan evangelist association dice of north america 17th annual conference for the year 2024 the western region marthama volan revangels association welcome you all to the 17th diocesan conference 2024 that will be hosted by the western region the conference is scheduled to be held from july 11th through july 14th 2024 and will end with a holy holy kurbana in malayalam venue is arizona grand resort and spa the entire registration details um കൂടുതൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് നോട്ടീസ് ബോർഡിൽ പ്രസിദ്ധീകരിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ദോസ് ഹു ആർ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് പ്ലീസ് കോൺടാക്ട് മാണി വർഗീസ് കപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് റിമൈൻഡേഴ്സ് എ റിട്രീറ്റ് ഇസ് സ്കെഡ്യൂൾ ഫോർ അവർ എക്സിക്യൂട്ടീവ് കമ്മിറ്റി മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഓഫീസ് ബേറേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേറ്റീവ്സ് ടു ബി ഹെൽഡ് ഓൺ ഏപ്രിൽ ട്വൻറ്റി സെവൻത് അറ്റ് അവർ ചർച്ച് പ്ലീസ് മേക്ക് എ നോട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ഡേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് മേക്ക് യുവർ സെൽഫ് അവൈലബിൾ ക്രൂസിൻ്റെ കാര്യം നമ്മൾ പല പ്രാവശ്യം പറയുകയുണ്ടായി ഇന്നലെ ഞാനൊരു മെസ്സേജ് വായിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് April to April 14th is the cut off date for the registration and to make the 50% of the payment for anyone who need for more information please contact Wilson K Babakuti or Vargis B Vargis Senior fellowship is planning a trip to Lancaster to see the Bible show Daniel on August 14th the expense is $150 per person that includes the bus ticket the bus ride the ticket and a breakfast those who are interested for more information please contact Dr Thomas K Jones any guests or visitors please introduce yourself that's all the announcements the committee retreat which the secretary announced here please remember that it is for all the committee members including different organizations the representatives the officials and the committee members all of you are requested to take part in that com- committee retreat let us stand for doxology
in peace god be with you all